I did not come in and jump in as a head of electrical crew or doing a big stuff. No, I started on the ground. I started with assembling. I know solar. I'm not just blogging about it, but no. I know solar from the beginning to the end. I'm here at the Pittsburgh Zoo, which is leading the way by investing in solar solutions, specifically distributed solar photovoltaics. How can you be part of the solution while also investing in the future? Today I'm talking with Richard Tumashime, who's lighting the way not only as a solar installer, but as a light in his community through his service. My name is Richard Tumashime. I'm a husband, a father, and a Pittsburgher. Also, I'm in my camp and I work as a head of electrical department and also I'm in the field 99%. But could you just describe where we are? Right now we are in the neighborhood called Robinson. It's a little bit outside the city, like 10-15 minutes from Pittsburgh city. And we are sitting under the, one of the biggest solar systems we have done. We started this project like four or five months ago. And uh, we have two depart sites. This is the north and the south in the back. So here we have over 7,338 panels on this site. So pretty much it's over 2.4 megawatts. How powerful are these solar panels? Like what could they accomplish? Looking at it, at least they can feed a good neighborhood. They can cut down on electricity for a big, big chunk of electrical. There's, there's so much, uh, this is overwhelming. I got, I'm getting caught up in the 7,000 plus uh, solar panels. But I guess, you know, you're a Pittsburgher. What do you love about Pittsburgh? Originally, I'm from Rwanda. Uh, Rwanda is in East Africa. It's a really small country. Most people, they don't know about it, but they know about what happened to us. So you tell them Hotel Rwanda or genocide. There was two tribes, okay? It was uh, Tutsis and Hutus, okay? So they what they told them, they told them, hey Hutu, the Tutsis are the worst enemy of yours. So if you kill them, you have everything to yourself. So it's the nature of how people treat each other. But a good thing that came out, you know, Rwanda, if you look at it, we didn't have any doctors to go to, to help you physical and mental heal. Yeah. But we, we came out with a plan called reconciliation, unit and reconciliation. Unit and reconciliation, how it worked, it was community by community, by people coming together and talk about what happened to their life. Wow. Forgiving and see how you can live back together. Because again, without forgiveness, you can't move forward. Growing up in that next country, and I came back, came to the States in 2008, came for school at La Roche University. And when I got here, I fell in love with this city and became a home, and uh, since that day, I never left the city, and I love it. So back home, you know, we are the country that also, one of the country that does not have any single plastic bag. In 2008, we implemented the case of no plastic bag. So you cannot find any plastic bag you find in a grocery shopping. It's not permitted and also the trees. We plant trees as much as we can so that we can preserve the environment. So coming to Pittsburgh with the culture of wanting to make, to be green as possible. When I went to school, I wanted to work with a solar company because I went to school for electrical and I landed in um, energy independent solution six years ago. And since then I never left and I'm not planning to go anywhere. There's a desire to give back to the youth and help them understand like what path to be on. But why are you personally passionate about that? Where I come from, yeah. the personal experience, growing up with a single mom, you know, growing up with no, nothing on the table, and also coming into this great country and I want to use the resources that are available for me to make my life better. You know, today I have a family of five and uh, I'm feeding them well. My kids are going to one of the best schools, you know, and I, I enjoy it. So I'm trying to tell people about the renewable energy. There's a future in it. There's a future in electrical cars. There's a future. The future is blight yeah. than what we think it can be. So it's always like technology to use it for our advantage and to use it for advantage of the planet, you know. 
So, why is solar power important? The solar power is so important because you're using the sun. The sun doesn't stop. Instead of using fuels, generators, you know, mining, fracking, you know, all those ones, they're hurting us in the long run. Today, if you see Pittsburgh, it's sitting on mines. There's a lot of mining that happened in Pittsburgh, whereby today, if you, you know, if you see this, a lot of down, the ground is just falling because there's a lot of mining that happened in Pittsburgh. Coal mining was the biggest number one in Pennsylvania. Okay, so if we keep doing coal mining, then which means today what we're sitting on, we're sitting on a ticking bomb, okay? Whereby solar does not take anything out of you, but it gives you something, you know? Like for instance, I feel like, you know, solar and electrical cars is the right way to go. Is the right way to go because if you have solar, you can charge your car, which means you're not going to be using diesel anymore or fuel. So solar, people used to think, oh, it's a new thing. It's, I think it's not just a new thing. It's the future. It's the future for the environment. What excites you most, not only about your work with solar, but just like what, what excites you most about the way that you're able to show up in the world? What excites you most when you wake up in the morning and, you know, tie your shoes and get ready to make the impact that you're making. Every time I wake up in the morning, the only thing I want, I want to make a difference in the world I live in. I want to make a difference in someone's life. Even though I love laughing and singing and dancing, I'm really good at dancing. I love dancing. You know, and one of the things that makes me happy every morning I tie off my shoes is to come to do the job I love. I love working with the renewable energy. I enjoy it. I did not come in and jump in as a head of electrical crew or doing a big stuff, no. I started on the ground. I started with assembling. I know solar, I'm not just blagging about it, but I know solar from the beginning to the end. You're showing up in the world the way that you need to. Like what you're doing is perfect for you. Like just even, like you are literally a light to people by, through solar power, but also just in other ways that you're showing up in the world. and. I think if people are able to like find their path and find what fits them, like you've been able to do that, like our world will be a better place because more people could be the light for other people. Hey guys, my name is Richard Tumshime, best here in Pittsburgh as a solar installer. My goal is to help the world draw down by planting a lot of solar in two houses into businesses, ground mounts, we're gonna put it a soul on it.